Hey, let's not fuck about it. Who's seen the Russell Brand documentary? <laughs> yeah, fuck him, come on, let's talk about it. Um, I think the weirdest part of it is that people are surprised. <laughs> Have you not seen him? Russell Brand looks like if you gave a kid a bunch of crayons and went, draw a bad man. <laughs> Like, well, it's always the ones you least expect. <laughs> he looks and sounds like the child snatcher. <laughs> you know, he's all like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Fuck off, you creep. If you saw, if Russell Brand wasn't famous and you saw him in any other context, you would give him spare change. <laughs> you know, get the bus for me if I can creep, right? Um, and also, fact, like, uh, just the worst human. It's not even like, as if he was talented. Like, to the point where you're like, mm, maybe let him get away with it for a while. You know, like, he was also shit at everything. He was a shit stand-up, he was a shit presenter. I fucking hate him, honestly. I hate, I hate him. Yeah. It's starting to sound a wee bit like he shagged me. Um, I hate him, he didn't even call. I, just, I think the worst part of getting sexually assaulted by Russell Brand is that right before it, you had to hang out with Russell Brand. <laughs> I'd honestly, five minutes with him, I'd be like, listen mate, go just fuck me so I can leave. Um, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Piece of shit. And also, it, 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 the same thing happened with, like, with like Savile. Where people were like, oh my god, really? And you're like, and then every interview Jimmy Savile ever done, he was literally like, don't leave me around, your kids will fuck them. <laughs> and it was the 70s, so the presenter would be like, you're such a character. <laughs> Russell Brown was the same. He like, only ever spoke about all the horrible sex he was having all the time and how he was a cunt to women. He wrote about it in his fucking book. Could you imagine the disrespect of being sexually assaulted and then the person who'd done it writing about it in something they've called their bookie work. <laughs> Like, fuck you. Right, well, luckily, he's going to have loads of time to write a new book when he's in jail. Yeah, in between getting bummy wummed. <laughs> I hope this opens a floodgate, man, because there's more coming. I tell you what, Jonathan Ross must be shiting himself. <laughs> Did you see how much of a piece of shit he looked in that documentary? I actually saw that he's actually he's had to release a statement. Yeah, he was like, honestly, I had no idea Wussel was a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Taking these allegations very seriously.